Good evening. Hello, good evening. How's it going, guys? I'm good, tired, but good. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear that and have you back. Just one second. Thanks. What have you done today? Uh, I was. Don't tell me that you're tired, that you had a lot of no. work. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, I was uh, working in the science lab because I have to to finish the the store inventario teacher. The inventory. The inventory. You had to finish the inventory of what? The inventory of uh, the equipment and instruments. Oh, uh, the reactives. Do you use at the lab? Yeah, lab, lab, lab inventory. Right? Lab, lab stock. The yeah. lab equipment. Equipment, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to wash all the the beakers and <laughs> all the equipment. <laughs> awesome. Well, and that took you the whole day. Uh, yes, maybe until 3 p.m. since 7 a.m. <laughs> since 7 a.m. Okay, yeah, I'll take that from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Hello, buddy. Hello, teacher. How are you? I had it. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Ah, fine, too. I did it tired, but it's normal. <laughs> okay. It's good to hear. So when you have a tough day, when you have a tough yeah. day, you can say I had a difficult, I had it difficult today. I, I had, had it difficult, difficult I had today. A difficult today. What do you understand by that? I had it difficult today. That it was, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's uh, like when in Spanish you say, um, a lot of work. <laughs> me la vi de palitos, o como es? Problems, problems. When you say in Spanish, um, me tocó de, de palitos, me tocó difícil. So that's, that's, that's saying, I had it difficult. I had it yeah. difficult today. Okay. Let me see something here really quick. Okay. It was a difficult day. Okay. But everything goes away, right? Everything passes. Yeah. Teacher. I I began be, began began or be, yeah began yesterday the exam and I had problem in the section after the listening the first listening the final test the questions yes the final test the request request this is the the job. the requests mm -hmm. Okay, we will see that today, actually. We will cover um, each part of the exam. That's okay. a way, that is a way we were, we're going to um, to practice Platform? today, mm -hmm, to practice. Ah, oh, okay. I, I'm still um, trying to give you more expressions. I had a tough day. I had a tough day. Huh. I had a tough day. What is? The tough. Of tough, tough, tough life. This is a synonym of hard, difficult, ah, okay. difficult. Um, there was another word. I can remember it. It has to do with economics. Okay, so we are six so far. Where are the others great movie others we're just making some time give me one second okay so um I want to talk about the exam, but first, as I promised you yesterday, we should start evacuating, evacuating your questions, your um, concerns 
about the topics we have learned in this module. So do you have any questions? How do you, how do you, uh, how do you do the request in yes. the exercise? Um, the second exercise. Letter B of the final exam? Yes, letter yes. B. You know what? Let's do that. Let's start anyways. If anybody wants to check the content uh, on the exam, they can simply um, check the video again, right? Because this okay. will be recorded. So let's start. So let's go to section five and then the final exam. First, you had a listening. Yes, the listening is easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's more easy. Excuse me, it's, it's easier. easier. It's, it's easier, easier than, than the others. <laughs> okay. Uh, but part B is like everyone is trying yeah. to no, focus on part B. Difficult. Okay. Okay. What was the video about? Uh, the audio. Okay. So, okay. The second part. Okay. Oh, oops. Ah, I already answered. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I I I write. I wrote. I write it. I wrote. wrote borrow and I think that. I think you said you did this. Yes. Yeah. Ah, so you want okay. your friend to lend borrow. you her laptop for the weekend. Now about requests, mm. about requests, let's remember, we talked about the use of models mm -hmm. and the use of uh, pol polite requests, polite phrases like the example. Yeah. I was wondering if you would mind, and I'm still using models, if you would mind, would mind, um, mm -hmm. if it was okay for me to borrow your laptop Okay, so what you had to do was use the compliment, right? Yes. I mean, yes, uh, complete the sentence in this case. Okay. And here I, I deleted the subject, I'm sorry. Okay, so could I borrow your laptop for the weekend? I don't need, I don't even need to put the uh, question mark. It's already there. Okay, the, the question mark was already there, so that was okay. okay. Okay, your classmate has a cell phone, you want to use it. Will it be okay if I use your cell phone? And this is incorrect. I don't need the question mark. Okay, because it's already there. You want to borrow a stranger's newspaper when he's finished reading it. When she has finished it, when he has, when she has finished reading it. Um, I was wondering if you would mind lending. lending me the newspaper. And again, I don't need the question mark. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Okay, chicos, este es un error de la página. Sí o sí. Si ustedes notan en la primera respuesta, no está el question mark porque ya está presente ya. Sí, pero aquí sí. Espera. La, ah, okay. la página que tú pongas el question mark. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. But this is where the answer. So remember, how do we form a request? We have a lot of ways to do it, right? Can I tell you something? Um, can you let me know what time it is? It's some sort of indirect questions, remember? Yes indirect questions instead of saying what time is it what would you say buddy instead of what time is it you're right but in instead of what time is it how will you ask what time is it indirectly how, how will you make that request using these examples they, yes. They they can uh, give uh, one example for exactly for uh, I have a for can idea or 
have idea when doing exactly the 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 test. It's a it's a it's opportunity for the face. Mm -hmm. I think that. Uh -huh. Okay. Give it an yes, example. because uh, mm -hmm. they 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 give a, a one example. Oh, for, if they could if they could uh, give an example of the structure. Okay. For, for, mm -hmm. because, I understand. Uh, or put mm -hmm. the put the verb, put the verb that you're going to use, right? Mm -hmm. Now in this case, you're basically being given the verb. Lend me your laptop for the weekend. Um, let me see. Will it be okay if I use, okay, your cell phone? A veces la respuesta está en la pregunta. Will it be okay if I, yo no digo you, use your cell phone? Okay, same thing here. Um, I was wondering if you would mind, okay, I could say borrow, borrow me the newspaper, lending me newspaper. Okay. So the answer is on, on the question in these cases. Um, and I understand your point, Elvis, to give an example or to put in parentheses, the verb that we expect you to use, like here, for example, right? They could have written use as the verb that you were supposed to use. Um, I'm sorry, the opposite. Here it was lend or borrow. And here it was use, like that, Elvis? Yes. Right? In other exercises, yes, you may see this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just to... Mm -hmm. And how you know uh, the tense of the verb? The tense, as I was explaining to you, we were using the models. Okay. The models. Mm -hmm. So you need a model. But the, the I mean, model is always in like a future, would, could, something like that. Probability. Probability. Okay. Y esto está muy apegado al español. Podría, ajá. Podría, eh, estaría bien, ¿sí? Will it be okay? Estaría bien, sí. Ok. Son maneras corteses de pedir las cosas. I was wondering if you would mind. Me preguntaba si ¿sí? le importaría uh -huh, prestarme su periódico. Me preguntaba si le importaría prestarme su periódico. Ahora, ¿por qué tan cortés? Porque estás hablando con un extraño. Good. ¿Algo otro ejemplo? But uh, lending is a past participle. Uh, no, this is, that will be present participle. ING. Past okay. participle will be lent. Lent, okay. The base verb is lent. Okay. okay. And it's a synonym for borrow. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Okay, now here in requests, you were supposed to use these phrases. Could I, will it be okay if, I was wondering if you'd mind, um, would you mind? Hmm? Um, can I ask you to lend me? Okay, could I ask you to lend me something? Can I ask you to lend me something? Me, ¿Le puedo pedir que tal cosa? Y aún eso suena algo pesado. Hmm. Yeah, so it all depends on the context, okay? Do you remember this topic? Any other question? Yes. Okay. Aquí está la cosa. Cuando estamos en la clase les digo, any questions? No, it's clear, amazing. Okay. Let's move. 
feature, the problem is that in the platform, the, the exercise are difficult. Really? Okay. But you could, you could have gone back and watched the video, you know, start a little, start a little bit more. El problema con la plataforma a veces sí es, son los puntos de, los signos de puntuación y todo eso a veces, eh, eso lo vuelve un poco difícil, pero en cuanto a los ejercicios que sean difíciles, siento que hemos ido cubriendo cada una de las áreas, eh, se ha cubierto cada una de las uh, estructuras gramaticales y en cuanto a este tema específico, dimos muchos ejemplos en la clase, no sé si lo recuerdan. It was very extensive. En cuanto a los requests, suena fácil, ¿eh? Porque son frases comunes que, que ocupas para hacer más cortés a la hora de hablar. My keyboard doesn't work in the platform, teacher. Sí, de hecho, tu keyboard, buddy, estaba bien raro. Yeah, it was really weird. Okay. That's Only X, X, X. Le pongo, do not X. Y lo, no, eh, ajá, apóstrofe ex. Oh, chica, ok. Debería de encontrar el, el, el apóstrofe body. Tiene que estar por ahí en alguna parte. Si no, ocupar alt y los numerales. Ah. Uh -huh. sí, es entrada, encontrar el apóstrofe. Ok. Sí. Let's see. The second part of this um, exercise, of this final test, Ah, oh, it was multiple selection. Come on. Could you tell Matt? Mm -hmm. Could you tell Matt that Akiko can't come to class tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Can you ask David? Mm -hmm. Whether or not he wants to study together tonight. Whether or not. That's right. Ya sea que sí o no. Excellent. Um, Ninive, can you tell Harriet? Mm, not to be late for class on Monday. Exactly. Exactly. I'm missing the verb yeah. here. I'm missing the verb in that sentence, so it doesn't make sense, right? That's right, not to be late for class on Monday. And you tell Harriet. Okay, easy. It was very simple. And what about this? Was this difficult for any one of you? Now, you were supposed to use simple past, past continuous, or the past perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. At their wedding, the, the bride and groom Got into a terrible God. argument. Got into a terrible argument. Yes. Okay. He's got. Yes, it's past. Oh, okay. We're it's talking past. in the past. Okay, the brides. Now, take a look at that sentence. Um, the verb is what gives the tense to the verb. I mean, to the sentence. El verbo es lo que le da el tiempo a la oración. En ese ejemplo. It's a positive sentence. Wow. Okay. The bride's father had just moved aside when the groom stepped. 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 Like that? No. Stepped. Double P. Okay. The bride's yeah. father had just moved aside when the broom stepped on the bride's beautiful dress. Okay, so we have a past perfect sentence. Had just moved. He had just moved aside when the groom stepped on the bride's beautiful dress. Okay, while I was playing tennis yesterday afternoon. I realized that I have forgotten something. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I realized I had forgotten that I had forgotten something. I couldn't call my wife to say I will be late for dinner because I had not 
put my cell I phone have... in my tennis bag. Mm -hmm. Have not now here's where everybody may have had a problem right mm -hmm. i i have x in this question and that question uh -huh. can I finish I it not... i had not put no me lo agarró, así. didn't take it well it did for me no but ya lo voy a mandar the screenshot i think all of us are going to finish these exercises and Yes. No. Arby, no. No, no. Who said no? Me, no. No, Alicia? Okay. Uh-oh. No. Anybody else? Elvis, did you finish? I have to finish, finish this night. This no. night I will be I have my tonight. No. I'm sorry. Tonight. Wait. Okay, Alicia. Tonight, Um. who else? Uh -huh. Arby, the Body? final exam. Yes, but... The part B is so difficult. Okay. It shouldn't have to be, but we will check it in a minute. We will check more into detail about it. Okay. Let's go with that. Um, you won't, don't worry, buddy. We will check that part right away. Last part was to read the stories, then select the correct title for each one. What's the correct title? and so on okay but here is your personal opinion i will say okay this is understanding basically mm -hmm. i was saying do you have any questions with this one no no questions okay okay let me go back to requests So remember, this first part is just an example. Bien, esta primera parte solo es un ejemplo de lo que de la situación que está ocurriendo, ¿no? Una situación hipotética. Quieres uh, que tu amigo te preste su computadora, de ella, de her, ¿ok? Por el fin de semana. ¿Cómo le preguntarías de una manera muy cortés si te puede prestar la computadora? So, Ahí estaba la, la respuesta. Um, es importante identificar el verbo que nos están planteando. Porque el verbo determina qué acción es la que voy a realizar y ya lo puedo reemplazar por un sinónimo. Como lo he hecho acá, en lugar de lend, voy a ocupar borrow. Could I borrow your laptop? Ok. Ocupé un sinónimo. Podría haber dicho lend también. Could you lend me your laptop? Qué diferente. Or could I lend your laptop? Eso sería lo adecuado. Could I lend your laptop for the weekend? Podría pedir prestada tu computadora por el fin de semana. Ok. Eh, ahí, Vadi, no sé, ¿cuál es la confusión? No, t-shirt. It's the unit five, the final exam. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Pero estamos en el examen final en la parte B. Requests. Vamos a ver. Yes. Unit five. Part. Which one? Five point. The knowledge no. check. Final exam. Uh, ahí estábamos, buddy. Requests. Yes, we are in the final. Check, please. Me, uh, it's okay. Now. Is it 5.12? Okay, era la 5.12, buddy? O el yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's take a look at 5.12. Yes, yes, that teacher. I'm sorry, I me confundí con la 1. No, Wait, no, no, no. Five point. There is no five point twelve. Or was it five point four? No, no. Well, let's see. Uh, five point eight is a knowledge check with relative clauses. But this was a multiple choice. Let me know, buddy. Is it 5.5? One thing I'll be excited by. Is 
and here is just about unscrambling. Is this the one, buddy? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, good. Okay, so here you just have to unscrumble. Mm -hmm. You have to unscrumble. Bien, decía la, la estructura que estábamos viendo de cómo ocupar... Um, ¿Se acuerdan de ese tema? ¿Cómo se llamaba? Noun sí, phrases, sí. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Noun clauses. Yes. Teacher, uh, the final exam uh, have only five letters. A, listening, B, request. C, check the correct phrase. D, complete the story. And E, read the stories. Yes. That's oh, always. Okay, I finished. <laughs> you're, you're done? Great. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Alicia. Okay, okay, so one thing I will be excited by y después decía la estructura que vimos en ese video, en los, de hecho fue esta semana, Buddy, que vimos todo esto. Después de by, después de la preposición, como decía Verónica ayer, sigue el verbo to be. Ok. And then the noun phrase, que era lo último, la frase, nombre, digamos, la frase, la frase compleja, eh, que es el objeto de la oración. En este ejemplo, estamos hablando... Eh, tú me preguntabas algo. ¿Y este es el sujeto entonces? No. Ese solo es una noun phrase. ¿Ok? Una frase nada más. Una cosa. Eh, veíamos otros ejemplos. Teacher, excuse me. Madeline said, said that eh, if you have eh, to enter to the class because she is waiting no, For she's, she, oh, class. that's Arabella, okay. No me entra en la clase. Madeline. Okay, uh, give me one second. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Let me see. Where's the invitation for this class? Right click is not working. There it is. <clears throat> okay, I just reply to her. And Madeline, if you notice on the picture, Madeline is trying to access intermediate three. Oh my God. I will send a message. Mm -hmm. Okay, she shall be here in a minute. I just sent her yeah, the, okay. the right the right link. Okay, going back. Um, <clears throat> where were we? Got lost. Okay, decíamos, después del verbo to be, después de la, de la preposición, como preguntaba Verónica ayer, <clears throat> tiene que ir el verbo to be. Y luego del verbo to be va la noun phrase, que usualmente va a empezar con un verbo en ING, podría ser. So, lo lógico sería acá. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? I will be excited by, buddy. Okay. I will be excited by. By is trying. Is, uh -huh, trying. The local food, trying. Uh -huh. The local The food. Local food. Ahora, si tú seguiste esas dos claves, digamos, dos partes de la estructura, como lo veíamos en la clase, eh, seguir después de, de la preposición, seguir con el verbo to be, y después con un verbo en ing por lo normal, ya eliminaste dos, dos partes del problema. Y después le das lógica a lo demás. The, no podría ser the food local. Mm. The local food. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Siempre va, eh, de, luego okay. del buy, luego okay. del buy is uh -huh. to be, el luego verb en ing, gerus. Eh, Correcto. Ahora, ¿qué determina el verbo to be que va después de la preposición? 
plural o singular? Ajá. ¿Qué es lo que determina si es plural o singular el verbo to be? Eh, the start. The, the start beginning, right? The, the beginning. Uh -huh. Right. This, One thing. The, the noun phrase. Exacto. Uh -huh. En cambio, si digo some things, decíamos en la clase. Are trying. Are. Exacto. Ahora, ¿por qué me lo marcó malo si esa es la respuesta correcta? Tengo todas las palabras en paréntesis. Because is wrong, right, trying. Teacher is without a. Oh, trying. Thank you. Ok. Bien. Hay que ser muy cuidadoso en cómo si he escrito mal algo, mezclé las mayúsculas con las minúsculas, o si falta el punto. Vamos a ver. Aún con el punto lo tomo bien. Ok. Ok. okay. Let's go with the next one. Okay. We'll be the most curious about the thing I. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The most. <laughs> No, I would, I would be, mm -mm. no. Es la misma estructura de arriba. Ah. Same thing. Is, no, because teacher, this is the. We're doing this part. Now we're okay. doing this part. Ah, okay. The, the thing. Exactly. The thing. Uh huh. I the will thing. Be. I will. I be. would be the most curious about. Mm -hmm. Is meeting people my age? Exactly. That's right. So, the thing. Y le doy una pista. En el examen este del TOIC, por ejemplo, el CASAS, no, no, con el CASAS no pasa nada. Con el TOEFL, algunas respuestas eh, de este tipo, te dan una, una, una pista, de hecho. A veces, esta letra viene en mayúscula. Y como pues, si tú lo analizas, tenés que empezar una oración con letra mayúscula. ¿Sí? Es como para ayudar. <laughs> That's what I get. There's, there's where I get confused. Exactly. That is what makes me confused. Exactly. Ok. Porque la del thing es en minúscula. No. O sea. Si es la primera. Es la primera. The thing I will be the most curious about. Is uh -huh, meeting people my age. Okay. Buddy, go with the next one. Is Same I something. Ex exactly. Something. Something I will be un anxious about is not understanding the language. Oh, yeah. Y aquí, y aquí nos falta el verbo to be. Okay. Is. Okay. Is Perfect. Not teacher. Antes, ajá, lo que le preguntaba en el WhatsApp que siempre pudiera antes una cosa. That's the way. The, uh -huh. I will be anxious about is not understanding the language. You got it. Very good. Oh, you see? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo corrijo esto en mi día a día como estudiante? ¿Cómo lo mejoro? Uh -huh. Miss Alicia, Miss Lopez. We have to, <laughs> we have to practice. Practice. In front practice. of a mirror. No. Yes. The grammar. Oh, the grammar. The writing, writing. Examples. Sentence and examples. Yes. Look for and more, he, look for more examples. Google it. Yeah. Google the and topic. Maybe memorize the structure, the structure. 
yes, memorizing the structure. Mm -hmm. That will work, which is what we expect eventually, but that, that takes years. Mm -hmm. Eso toma años. Si yeah. llegas a memorizarte las estructuras, es porque vas a dar clases. Yeah, there are many types of structures. Uh, a lot. Yeah. Pero hay una cosa, Alicia. Uh -huh. Y eh, por eso, perdón, yo no me la pico ni nada, pero muchas personas creen que yo uh -huh. soy bueno, pero lo que pasa es que yo ya sé inglés. Entonces, la manera de enseñar mía es lo que uh -huh. yo ya sé, lo transmito y, y exactamente como lo hace José en sus videos, pone la estructura de lo que él ha mencionado. Uh -huh. o sea, y eso, ojo, ustedes escuchan una oración de algún americano en una película, parenle la oreja, escriban la oración y hagan el ejercicio de identificar cada parte de esa oración. Aquí está el sujeto, dijo, dijo uh -huh. shouldn't, dijo shouldn't, luego dijo have, hmm, I shouldn't have gone. ¿Por qué dijo I shouldn't have gone? Yo no debería haber ido. Ah, ok. ¿Qué tiempo es ese? Ok. Y si lo meten en Google, I shouldn't have gone. Gra grammar, y ponen grammar a la par, les va a salir perfect models, modales perfectos. I shouldn't have gone, I shouldn't have told you. No vimos ese tema, ¿verdad? En el anterior lo vimos, Alicia. I think. Um... I shouldn't have told her. Yes, yes, the, the, and the other model, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, any other question? Questions, questions. Mm. The relative clauses is... A little bit tricky. The, it was a last topic, no? The relative clauses. Relative clauses, noun phrases containing relative noun clauses. Phrases, yes. Yes, noun phrases containing relative clauses as subjects. Let me do something really quick. Ah, okay. Ahora, eso está en su chat. De hecho, el chat lo voy a sacar. Uh, okay. Lo de los, ex, oh, no, de hecho, expectations no le salieron en, en el no. examen. No, no. Era el último tema que vimos. Mm -hmm. Who remembers the expectations? Alguien está reproduciendo, reproduciendo un audio en, en WhatsApp. Yeah. Me, it's oh. about Madeline. Madeline is saying that you you can you cannot permit that she enter. <laughs> I'm not allowing her, I'm not, pero yo la acabo de ver, no, no, esa era Verónica con los tulipanes. Eh, that's weird. Qué extraño, la verdad. Yeah. Todos, todos ocuparon el link que les envié. Yeah. So sad. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y sigue diciendo intermedio 3. Mm. Qué extraño. Anyways. Ok, guys, um, let's continue. So, déjenme sacar esto nada más para poderlo mostrar. Hey, al fin. Hello. Hi, Madeline. <laughs> What happened? My first friend. Angry. Angry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But you made it. You made it. It's good. Thank God you made it. Ok, how are you? I'm fine. Great. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Cómo te dice, teacher? Me um, costó. It was hard. It was hard. It was difficult. Okay. No, oh, relax. Hmm. I'm wondering, how can I show you this without showing anything else? Okay. Good. Let's go this way. Okay, so talking about that topic that you're mentioning. Bien, decíamos que en inglés solo es de re, reemplazar um, partes de un enunciado, ¿no? So, one thing I really miss 
It's my mom's cooking, decía el ejemplo. Something I've been nervous about is making new friends. Two people, ¿pueden ver el ejemplo? Or is it too, too small? Yeah. Okay, two people who, or that, two people I email every day are my parents. Are Ese ejemplo ni lo vimos, eh, no lo cubrimos en la clase. So, let's work with that. Vamos a trabajar con eso, okay? Um, just move this around. So, if I, uh, if I say that two people What is that? What part of the noun phrase on the structure? Who remembers the structure? Do you remember the structure? No. Oh. Okay, do you remember the structure, guys? Yes, the subject. Excellent, thank you. You have the subject, which in, ya vamos a ver cuál era cada cosa, eh? Subject plus, then you have? Relative clause. Mm -hmm. A plus verb A to plus. be. Plus verb to be. Plus object, object. Okay, exactly. That's the way we should be working with this. As simple as that. Okay, there it is. So now, si reemplazamos cada uno de los eh, partes, según el ejemplo, tengo two things. ¿Qué más podría decir en lugar de two things? Something. Everything. No. Something. 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 Uh -huh. Something. Mm -hmm. O podría ser something. Or o sea, pluralizarlo. Something. Plural. Uh -huh. Numerarlo. Um, three things. Three things? Three oh, things. Many things. Many things, no? Mm -hmm. Can you use many things, teacher? Mm -hmm. mm. No. No. Mm -mm. Porque luego las en número. So no, no podría hacer eso. Okay. Okay. Um, incluso podría decir what y solo continuar con la relative clause. Veamos. Porque la, red, la relative clause empieza con un sujeto. I. I luego, I'd, uh -huh. I would. I'd, would. What I'd miss the most, miss the most. about you, oui. you, what I'd miss the most about you is, ahí está el verbo to be, is your smile. Yours. Your smile. Okay. Smile. Yep. Object. What I miss the most about you is your smile. Is your smile. And this is the relative clause. Okay. Teacher, and you use what? I can do. Yeah, that's what I did. Y estaría diciendo lo que. Lo que. Ah. Yo. Uh -huh. Lo que yo extrañaría más acerca de ti es tu sonrisa. Ok. Let's do another example. Give me another example with two things. Ahora, ¿de dónde surge toda esta, esta, esta gramática? Porque para formar un programa de contenidos de gramática, como lo es este el top notch, que es lo que estamos ocupando, para formar todo el programa de contenidos, el que lo creó, digámoslo así, 
tuvo que ubicarse en situaciones para ver qué gramática se aplica en cada situación, ¿sí o no? Yes. ¿Qué, ¿En qué situación nos estamos ubicando acá? ¿De qué estamos hablando? Creo que no empezamos por eso. A future, a possible future. Or... A possible future, um, yeah. A figurative future. Let's say you're traveling or you're going to another, I mean, you're thinking about going to another country, right? Well. Being on vacations on another country. Remember that there was a question about going on, on a trip, traveling. And these were the, the examples. So okay. let's move on. Two things. I'd be enjoy. Okay. I'd, I'd enjoy. Enjoy. Let's use the most. The, mo the most. Mm -hmm. Verb to be. Uh, I, I am. Are. 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 Okay. Yes. Are. Sigamos. Ubicámonos ahí, Madeline. ¿Por qué dije are y no is? Because the, the it's plural. It's plural. Are. Two yes. things. Are. Two things, Two right? Things. Two things. Okay. Are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are. Enjoy the most. Are. Pregunta. ¿cómo, ve, ¿Cómo va a estar el objeto aquí, el verbo que voy a ocupar? Plural. Que más bien ni siquiera se puede ver como un objeto, sino como un noun. ¿Recuerdan que vimos esa clase? Al agregarle ING a un verbo, uh -huh. lo convierte yes. en un noun. The germs. The germs. Let's say you went to... Um, you went to the beach. You went to surf city. Uh -huh. So two things I enjoy the most in surf city are are surfing. surfing surfing of course uh -huh. and eating eating seafood i got hungry okay <laughs> yeah, yeah. Surfing and eating, eating seafood yes and eating seafood seafood um Mariscada en crema de la curva de Don Jere. Comercial. Mm, comercial, comercial. Viví cinco años en el puerto. Mm. Me encantaba eso. Ok. So, give me another example. Something. <coughs> Something. Something is a singular. I. Ok. I. The... <coughs> Something I'd scared? No. Okay, it's, I'd be. I'd, I'd, I'd be, I'd be. Scared of? Excellent example. Scared Something I'll be scared of. The most, the most. Is. Okay. The most. Mm -hmm. Verb to be is. Uh -huh. Is. 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 Mm. Is. Um, earthquakes. Wait, is this correct? No, let's use the right structure. Let's see. Something I'll be scared the most of is. Is. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. In uh, California. Earthquake. Let's say, let's say you what travel. What is the meaning, teacher? Earthquake. Terremoto, compadre. Oh! Oh, I know. Earthquakes. Oh, I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm afraid. You're yeah. scared. Everybody's <laughs> scared. Is afraid of earthquakes. Okay. Uy. Okay. Three things. Bien, tradúzcanme. Tres cosas que a María de estar I ahí. Love. Tres cosas que a María de estar ahí son. I... Love. I love. Okay, Maria, love okay. De estar love, ahí. I love to be the, there. Love. No. Not to be. 
to be? I don't love to be. No. De ese estar tiene que estar conjugado en, en participio. Ah, uh, been, been. Uh -huh. I have, love okay. been. Have been. Have been. Has been. Mm. No. Mm. Of of been. <laughs> I correct this. Been. Of, of oh. been. Presente yeah. participio. Okay, three things I love of being there are. 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 Okay. My job. My job. My health. The job. The health. System. We're in another country. And. The family? Mm. No. The health and mm, the weather. The and the so, digamos que me voy para Canadá. Estoy pensando en irme para Canadá. Tres cosas que amaría de estar ahí son el trabajo. Ok, porque son buenos trabajos. House, the, el, the, health the health system, because it's free. It's free. And the weather. And the weather, because I love the snow. I love. Yes, it's mm. no. Ah, yes, it's mm -hmm. no. It's so, beautiful. Okay, so aclarando entonces. El subject se convierte en esto que está acá. The relative clause es exactamente el mismo. I would. Luego, okay, va complementado um, por, una, por un adjetivo, un calificativo. Podrías agregar un superlativo. Y luego sigue el verbo to be. Y luego el noun phrase. Que va al final. Que mm -hmm. se convierte en un objeto. Este tema de los gerundios como objetos o como sujetos, ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. yes. En la clase anterior. Los gerundios como sujetos u objetos. Eso se los recomiendo que lo estudien si no estuvieron con nosotros en la clase anterior para cubrir esa duda. Creo que Vadi no estaba con nosotros. No, no remember. Sí, entonces estudiar eso, ¿no? Eh, los gerundios como objetos o como sujetos. Es bien sencillo, Vadi, y se ocupa el verbo to be, de hecho. ¿Qué podría decir Vadi de surfing? Si lo hago con el verbo to be, mira, surfing es... Is... Surfing is funny. It's funny. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, surfing uh, is, surfing fun. is fun. It's surfing fun. is funny. exciting. Is difficult. Surfing is difficult. Entonces ese ing convierte en un noun. Entertaining. Uh -huh. Ahí es como de... ahí es como sujeto. Entertainer. Exacto. Exacto. Uh -huh. Exacto. Y como objeto? objeto, como objeto, lo estamos aplicando, lo hemos estado aplicando. The most are surfing and eating seafood. Um, my mom's cooking. Y ahí ya sirve como objeto. My mom's cooking is delicious. No, sigue siendo sujeto. Wait. My mom's cooking is delicious. What I love, what I love is... Um, Drinking coffee. What I love the most is drinking coffee. Ya sirve como objeto. Ya, pero siempre digo algo en relación a ese objeto. Es diferente. Recuerden que el sujeto es el que lleva a cabo la acción. Y el objeto es el que recibe lo que se dice. Ok. So, Google it. Let's check that. Ok. Wow. Time flies. Any other question? Bien. Ok. Eh, nos quedan solamente seis minutos. Si no me equivoco. ¿Alguien tiene alguna otra pregunta, inquietud respecto a la I, plataforma? It was a pleasure to be with you in this model. <laughs> Again, come on. Yeah, but Who I knows? Welcome, welcome to your class on Monday with you. 
because you are a good teacher and uh, the, the most important no. uh, the most important classes is in this in the year yeah <laughs> i know i know i think yeah meow meow <laughs> I can't hear a cat on the background. Oh, no. Do you have a cat, Madeline? Ah, uh, yeah, my cat, but I'm angry with my cat. I'm angry, <laughs> angry with my cat. Did he scratch you? No, he he is. Uh, what happened with your cat? Happy. And my cat, uh, okay, I don't know the word, orinar. <laughs> oh my in god! My, in my room. Oh, oh my God! No. He peed. Yes. That means that he loves you. I angry with the cat. He loves you. Ah, <laughs> teacher. Yes. No. He marked the territory. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is not your. His territory is my yes. territory. No, the yeah. cat. Okay, Madeline, thank you for your words. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> and believe me, guys, thank you for your patience as well with me. I mean, I know being here in the class after working the whole day, I know it's difficult, but thank you for coming if to the you, class. If you aren't, no, if you isn't, um, no, if you isn't. Yeah, if, if you aren't. If, no. You aren't, ah, if you aren't in the class in, on Monday, I will call you and I'm um, <laughs> give my regards all day. Please. Every day. <laughs> Do it. Yes, <laughs> and, and don't worry guys. I mean, I'm here as your friend too. You can text Thanks. me if you have any questions. Just text me. I mean, but bear with me, okay? Be patient if I don't answer. <laughs> I may be working. Teacher, or... smile, please. Smile. I'm going to took, uh, take a, a picture. Take a picture. No, no, take a picture. No, teacher. teacher, smile. I'm no, smiling. I'm yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. The picture was good. Good. <laughs> Yes, I have it. Okay, I got okay. it. I got it. <laughs> okay, guys, seriously, uh, do you have any questions or is there something else uh, that you need help with? No? Miniva, did you finish? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes, I finished. Um, I have I have a little problem with uh, one point, but maybe it was my computer. But no. Okay, just no, make sure. But, um, just make sure you got I, 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 an eighty. <laughs> oh, you need an update. Okay, just make okay. sure that you you, you made it all above the eighty percent. Okay. I. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you're a good teacher, so I hope to see you for the hopefully. next. <laughs> hopefully, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, it was my pleasure. Take care. Good, Good night. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for all. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for all. Just Bye. in case. Merry Christmas. Bye. 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 Bye